guys, bienvenidos to mi canal. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the finished acrylic painting of Shrek Swamp. And I did do a quick watercolor sketch video on it and you can see it by clicking here. Oh, and I also painted the top of the lid where I packaged the painting in and I'll show you guys that towards the end of the video. And I think that's it, so let's go straight to it. So a person asked me to paint a glamorous and girly version of Shrek Swamp on a 6x6 canvas. I made two different watercolor sketches to present to her the ideas that I had for this project and she decided on the purple and pink color combination. She requested me to add the boulder that Donkey mentions on his first time visit at Shrek Swamp, so I had to change the view perspective to the swamp. Along with the layout change, I decided to add a water fountain, add more windows, and a more grand door. The first thing I have to do is transfer the drawing to the canvas, and I do that by shading the whole back of the drawing with an 8B graphite pencil, which is an extremely dark graphite pencil. After shading the back, I cut the edges of the drawing to tape them to the edges of the canvas. And then I use an 8H graphite pencil, which is an extremely light graphite pencil, to trace the image onto the canvas. Now for the fun part, which is painting. I didn't have small or thin brushes, so I bought these three brushes from Michaels, which these really helped me paint the small details. I began by painting the trees in the background and worked my way to the front view of the painting. I used deep violet, Stella Blue, Medium Magenta, and White for the trees and majority of the painting. I mixed Deep Violet and Thalo Blue and White to get the purple I wanted. If you guys didn't know, blue and red make purple. When you add more blue to the mixture, then you get a cool toned purple. When you add more red or magenta, then you'll get a warm toned purple. So those are the type of mixtures you'll see me do here. Oh, and if you want to make the color lighter, then just add a little bit more of white. At first I had the background in a peach color, but then I changed it to a light purple and you'll notice that throughout the painting process that I do change a lot of colors and that's because I'm testing what colors will look best according to their placement. Once I started with the grass, I used medium magenta, yellow, and white to get that light coral pink. I made short upward paint strokes to have that texture of grass. After that, I started painting the staircase, door, and windows with gold, bronze, black, and white. I used bronze, gold, and black on sections that I wanted darker to appear like shadow, and I used white and gold to sections that I want lighter. The way I painted the brick is by using white as the base and then mixing white and black to create different shades of gray. Oh, that didn't sound right. Okay, um, not that kind of shades of gray, but... <laughs> Anyways, I used a flat square edge paint brush to do those square shape paint strokes that you see that assimilates like brick wall. I painted the lavender plants on this edge and I changed the patio color to a grayish beige color, which I think helps add a break between the vibrant pinks and purples used in this painting. After completing the little water fountain, which is so cute, I can't believe I was able to do that tiny water fountain by the way, I did the seating area with the table as well. When my mom saw the seating area, she thought it was a dog. So I hope the client notices it's a seating area and doesn't think it's a dog. The edges of the canvas looked musty crusty, so I used gold to paint the edges and give it a more clean look. Then to put the glitter on the sunlight beams, I used a transparent glue and toothpick to place the glue on the canvas. I used a purple glitter at first, but I noticed that it didn't really sparkle much, so I later placed a different glitter that's rose gold, which I think looks 10 times better and it gives more shine. 
Now for the box that I packaged the painting in, I traced and transferred the Beware Ogre sign, which is seen in the entrance of Shrek Swamp. I used dark red for the letters, his pupils and mouth. I used sap green on the dark shadows of his face. Then I mixed white and light yellow to do his eyes and teeth. Then with light green, I painted the majority of his face and the spots left, I used brilliant yellow green. And voila! added some pink crinkled paper and brown twine and it's off to its owner. I had so much fun doing this painting. I can't believe how much detail I was able to put in this small canvas. I definitely learned new techniques from this painting and I hope you learned something new in this video and inspired you to make art. Follow me on Instagram to be updated on the next upload. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and other fashion related videos. Give a like to this video and let me know what's your favorite part of this painting by commenting it down below. Thank you so much for watching and for your love and support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!